With snow all the way, hospitals are preparing to see more than usual than folks in the ER with weather-related injuries. We have your back tonight with what doctors say you need to do if you slip and fall or somehow hurt yourself in the snow. News 8's Jackie Slater has more on that and joins us live now from the Mobile Weather Lab checking out the roads. Jackie? And Darren, we left New Haven about a half an hour ago and the temperature in here said it was 38 degrees. Now it says 35 and the only issues I'm seeing out here on the roads right now are fog. So I'm going to flip the camera around and you can uh, take a look out there. We're kind of in the dark area of 691 heading through Southington. We just went through Meriden um, where the fog had lifted a little bit, but here it's heavier. If you look kind of over to the other side of the road, you can see the headlights coming towards us and you can see that the fog is a little bit lower here than in New Haven where we're sitting above those lights. So right now, not too many issues with the roads, but that's going to change in the next couple of days. And we're good. The potential to see accidents out here is going to increase and with those accidents come injuries. Now, doctors want to warn people about all of the risks involved with winter weather. A busy day at Yale New Haven Hospital. Officials say the beds are full and overflow is moving into the emergency room. With snow in the forecast for later this week, doctors say now is a good time to think about your snow removal plan and the effects it could have on your health. Well, it's already busy, so we'd like people to be careful out there because I don't think you want to be in the emergency department right now. When the snow first starts falling, Dr. Chris Moore says the ER can be quiet. It's the calm after the storm that brings people in. Doctors recommend having someone else do the cleanup if you have pre-existing health conditions. We do see heart attacks pretty much each season from people shoveling snow. So if you're shoveling, exerting yourself, and you start to get short of, more short of breath than usual, tightness in the chest, that sort of thing, uh, stop and you know think about talking to your doctor. Trading in the shovel for a snowblower? Don't think that means you'll stay accident free. Please, please turn off the snowblower. Don't reach inside of it. Even if it's stopped, sometimes it's still under tension, and we'll see people that try to free up the snowblower and um, bad hand, hand injuries, things like that. Another warning, take it slow. All that snow and ice mean an increase in slips and falls. Dr. Moore says this is the time of year they see an increase in broken wrists and hips. If you do hit the pavement, doctors say evaluate the situation and make the call if you need to. If you're able to get up and walk it off, you know, that's fine. But, you know, if it's severe pain, obviously any deformities, uh, if you've lost consciousness after a fall or having ongoing headache with vomiting, things like that, then we'd like to see you. All right, and we're back out here on the roads right now, heading on to 84 East towards Hartford. And again, uh, the biggest problem out here right now is that fog. We are looking for those slick spots. The temperature right now, 35 degrees uh, here in Southington. And again, those uh, doctors had some great tips for um, the next couple of days as you think about your cleanup plan. My cleanup plan is to keep my fingers crossed and hope that my neighbors come over and do my driveway for me. So reporting now live in Southington in the Mobile Weather Lab, Jackie Slater, News 8.